What's going on, spiritual warriors? Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. My name's Amanda, for those of you who don't know me, and this is The Connected Conduit. You're very, very welcome here. I hope you're having a phenomenal day, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. This will be a timeless reading for you, so whenever you find it, you are meant to. Do keep in mind it is general, it's not a one-to-one, -one, which means messages may or may not resonate with you, and that's okay. Just pick up what confirms your intuition, and then leave the rest for someone else. Okay. Let's see what wants to come through. Before I start, I just want to mention, you guys, that I was scrolling through some of the comments and I was so, so pleased because I saw that one viewer left a comment that was very, like, just heart-wrenching. Um, very sad to read, okay? And another viewer came in and left a beautiful, supportive message. And it just warmed my heart to see you guys creating such a beautiful, loving, supportive community here on my channel. Like, yes, yes, yes. That is what we're here for. That is the point of this. So thank you so much. Thank you for doing that, you guys. And let's continue to do that. Um, just so beautiful. It just touched my heart. You know what I mean? So awesome. So, so uplifting. I'm very, very, very proud of you guys. I don't know. I just feel like saying that. I'm very proud of you. Okay. That was just the right thing to do. I'm seeing a dove in my third eye for you. I'm feeling like you're entering a phase of peace, wisdom, prosperity, elegance, elegance. And I feel like you could have a really strong connection to Jesus, Mother Mary. You don't have to, but I am picking that up for some of you. It doesn't have to mean that you're super hardcore religious or anything like that. You can be spiritual and still connect to Jesus and Mother Mary and things like this. Okay. You're entering into a very peaceful stage and I feel like you're meant to bring peace to others. You're a bringer of peace, a bringer of ancient wisdom, and you're also very good at healing. In particular, you're very good with energetic healing through your hands. So you might be currently working with Reiki, or it's something that you want to go into. It's a field that you're interested in. If you are feeling the Reiki pull, and this is resonating with you, Spirit wants you to definitely follow your heart and your intuition. The halls of learning yes this came out a couple weeks ago so if you're being guided to learn a new skill or develop your your gifts and your skills definitely now's the time to do so your spirit guides are heavily heavily trying to lead you down the right path or they're they're coming through to to let you know that you are on the right path so keep following the signs keep following the synchronicities if you are wanting confirmation that you're on the right path, then this message is your confirmation. You can always ask your spirit guides to send you signs. You can ask for your spirit guides to send you dreams that will confirm things for you that will help you make a decision. So many of you may be going back to school or taking, you know, a little online course or something like this. Ooh, star being healing codes. Important information. Wounds are healed. Recharging. I'm getting goosebumps. I really feel strongly like you, you're healed. I mean, we're never fully done healing, but you are healed. Your chakras are balanced. You've let go of a lot of heavy stuff. And you are now a clear channel that spirit can work through. So, for example, let's say you're wanting to do Reiki. I see you calling in your spirit guides during these healing sessions and asking them to work through you. So, um, 
you're a, you're a clear channel. The energy can freely flow through you and into other people. Well done, well done, because by healing yourself, you can now go out there in the world and heal others. It's really important that you make sure you're setting time aside every day to recharge your battery. If that's something that you're not doing on a regular basis, your spirit guides are coming through saying meditate or sit in the power so that you can charge that energetic battery within you because the work you do can be quite depleting or draining or just take a lot of energy from you. Some of you may be traveling for work or you may be considering moving to another country to enroll in some sort of um, school program or a university or a college, but it's not like in your country. You actually have to go to another country and study and learn there. Or you're just wanting to travel for work or something like this. I'm seeing travel for you. I'm also getting a song. Been around the world and I, yeah, yeah, I can't find my baby. You're about to come into contact with somebody who has been looking for their soulmate, their special person. And I feel like this is someone who's been roaming the world, trying to find you, traveling. And you guys are going to, it's coming together. You guys are going to meet. Oh my gosh, look, it's the Holy Grail. Yes. Okay. Inner discovery, finding sacredness. You are what you seek. So that is beautiful. You're realizing that everything you need is already within you. You've got the power. You have the skills and the gifts within you that you can unlock and harness and use for the greatest and highest good of humanity. I feel like this is the Ace of Cups. This is the Holy Grail in this card. But if you look closely, it looks very, very similar to the Ace of Cups card in the original Tarot card deck. New love is headed your way. You found self-love and now new love is being ushered in for you. This is a sacred love. Someone is seeking you. Someone is seeking you and you are seeking them. But you don't know. You don't know who that person is. All right. You're just trying to find that higher love. That higher love. Send me that higher love, right? And if you feel called, definitely check out the story behind the Holy Grail if you're not, if, if you don't know much about it, because there's going to be more information that is um, really relevant to your specific journey. It's all about protection, protecting what is sacred, going on a quest, being honorable, oh the knight of wands flipped out upside down onto the halls of learning i feel like you're really going after your passions here i'm gonna put it back but What I'm hearing is impatient. You're starting to feel impatient. Um, you could be you could be a Sagittarius, and staying in one place for too long makes you want to crawl out of your skin. <laughs> You're like, oh, I can't do this. I need adventure. I need excitement. I need to move. I can't stay in one spot for too long. Okay, so you could have like the travel bug. The Ten of Swords. Wow. So you could have gone through a very painful ending here recently, and you learned a lot from this. Whatever cycle you have closed out here, it was difficult, but it really helped elevate you and help you learn a valuable soul lesson. Your spirit guides wants you, they want you to know that the worst is over. The worst is over.
the seven of cups so you're looking at options this could be travel options program options schooling options you could be having visions about the future but you're not sure if you can trust them and spirit saying yes you can trust the visions you are receiving your clairvoyance is on point your spirit guides want you to know that you have a really keen intuition so you can trust yourself when making decisions if you if at any time you're feeling uncertain your spirit guides are saying yes like you are you're a good decision maker is what i'm hearing because yeah you might be feeling overwhelmed with options right now so if that's the case what's your advice if you're feeling overwhelmed or worried about a certain decision here the knight of wands it came out <laughs> It's to go after your passions, follow your heart, be free, wild, travel. If you're if you're being called to travel, travel. Um, I'm almost feeling like there's a need for you to release your wild side, like not hold back, to really express yourself fully and completely without any fear or worry of judgment. You know, I'm getting for some of you, you play an instrument and you may want to travel and like busk, right? And just play on the streets for a little while. I'm hearing go for it, go for it, full throttle, go for it. The Queen of Cups, wow, you're very psychic, caring, compassionate, heart-centered, heart-based. If you notice, the Queen of Cups has her hands out and there's like water shooting out of her hands. So I, this is definitely, for me, confirmation of that message that was coming through where your hands are magical. You have magical hands, you can help heal people, you could be very good at Reiki, energy healing, massage, something like this. You're a clear channel and your wounds from the past have been healed. Water could be very healing for you. It could help you feel cleansed and recharged. So if you're being called to take sacred baths or showers or go swimming, definitely follow that. Definitely follow your intuition. The Page of Cups. You're on your soul's true path or you're you're getting there. You're about to make a decision that puts you on your soul's true path. It's very creative. It's something different than you've ever done before. It's something that you had to really push past fear in order to go after. Because I feel like there was a part of you that thought, can I do this? And spirit saying, yeah, you can, because what you, what you think you bring about, if you believe it, it'll manifest. So you really had to step into belief and trust. You had to believe in magic. You had to believe in spirit. You had to believe in your own magical powers, all of these things. You had to believe in yourself and get ready to be surprised at the gifts that you have. Because I think some of you don't realize the magic that you hold within. I don't think some of you realize just how powerful you are, especially when it comes to the energy that can flow through your hands. You know what? For some of you, it, it is Reiki energy healing. But for others of you, it's actually playing an instrument. So this it's almost like you're receiving energy from the divine. It flows through you and it comes out your fingers. And you may, you may be somebody who just can pick up any instrument and play it. And you don't know how, but you just do. You're very musically talented and it comes effortlessly. You don't even have to try. And Spirit's saying that's because like, it's you're channeling it. You're channeling it. You've done this before in past lives. So it's just something you're, you're remembering. 
So magic flows through your hands. It flows through your fingers. You could do guitar, drumming, piano, anything. You could play the spoons. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's magical. The King of Cups. Wow, look at you. You're entering into a phase of self-mastery. I feel like you make time for meditating. And if you don't, this is definitely a strong message coming through for you to, to make time. All right, because it's really going to help you process things. It's going to help recharge you and keep you centered, balanced, and all those things. And I feel like we have the, the Queen and King of Cups out here because you are coming into union with your match, your soulmate. This, this union will come together when you decide to stay true to you, follow your heart, be brave, bold, go after your passions, try something new that 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 is really inspiring you you have to you're gonna have to push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit but you're excited to do it and then this person comes in this is how you guys meet so you could meet through school a program while traveling you could be out on the streets busking playing your instrument and they walk by you guys lock eyes and the rest is history right anything can happen you guys anything can happen the holy grail let's pull on that the five of wands so i feel like you really had to work at finding inner peace this is something that you really put a lot of effort into you may have been struggling to to really accept yourself as you are for a long time but finally you're stepping into this place of I love myself I love the good the bad and the ugly I love everything about me I'm not perfect but I accept myself and I value myself I love myself but that may have been something that you did struggle with for a long time you could have really struggled at finding who you really were at a soul level and I feel like you finally have. Or you're so close. You're so close to having that discovery. You and your person are so connected, you guys. You could actually be having visions of one another. You could be having dreams of one another, but you've never met. Like this is a complete stranger to you. And yet they could be popping up in your dreams or things like this. You guys could be having visions of them during meditation. And you're thinking to yourself, who is this stranger that I'm seeing in my visions? Who is this person? It's your soulmate. It's your soulmate who's at a distance. I feel that so strongly. Like this person is traveling around the world looking for their baby and they're like where are they where are they or that could be you take it how it resonates so what you seek seeks you if you're being called to travel definitely go for it you guys because i really feel that for most of you watching this is how you meet your person this is how you develop your gifts this is how you expand your world queen of pentacles yes exactly exactly the queen of pentacles is an energy of knowing your your worth knowing your value and you finally you're at a place along your journey where you love yourself but this was something that you could have struggled with like i was saying i feel that you may have had a lot of critical people in your life who projected onto you and that's something that you've realized that for for much of your life you accepted other people's projections as, as truth and you've had to relearn abundance is coming in for you if you have been worried about financial stability 
Spirit wants you to know everything will be sorted out. There's no need to worry about your finances. I look down and it's the King of Pentacles. Another divine match. You guys could actually have water and earth very prominently in your chart. Same as your person. They could also have water and earth very prominently in their chart. You're going to be just fine. You're going to be cushy. You're going to be super, super cushy is what I'm hearing. We have the hangman flipping over. I feel like you are surrendering to the flow of life. You are letting go, opening up, and making heart-based decisions. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Going towards what lights you up, following your passions, following your desires. You have a brand new beginning here. Brand new. And it's going to light your soul on fire, you guys. There's going to be a lot of attraction and passion between you and your person, between you and your soulmate. You Okay, for, for those of you who do not have children yet and you want children... A child is going to come into the picture very quickly after you guys come together. Okay? Very quickly. Yeah, I split the deck on the page of wands. Which is can sometimes represent a child. Plus we have the page of cups out here. The high priestess. Going within. You're going within to access those soul gifts to access those soul secrets that are laying dormant within you that you and only you can unlock. Wow, beautiful reading, you guys. Anything else that wishes to come through? I'm hearing step out of your comfort zone. Stop worrying. Don't overthink it. Don't worry about that last situation or that last relationship. What I'm hearing spirits say, and this may sound harsh, but this is what's coming through. That person or that job or that situation was a dead end. It was a dead end. It wasn't going anywhere. It had run its course and you did the right thing by ending it and removing yourself from that situation or that person or that place or that job, whatever it was. You did the right thing. It was going nowhere. It was a dead end road. Buddha. Buddha wants to work with you. Heightened awareness. Make peace with your thoughts and your world. Beautiful. So you can call Buddha in during your meditations. Ask him to share his wisdom with you. And this is this is this is it, you guys. Like you're making peace, making peace with who you are. Every part of you. And definitely, definitely don't overthink if you um, have a tendency to do that, which I totally understand. I'm with you on that one. That is something that I've had to learn along my journey too. So no judgment, no shade whatsoever. But spirit wants you to know you don't need to overthink things because you are very intuitive and you can trust your intuition. You can trust in your ability to make great choices for yourself. Okay. Wow. That's such a beautiful reading, you guys. So I hope this resonated with you. I hope you found it helpful. I'm wishing you all the best. I'm sending you all the good vibes. Can you feel it? I can feel it. Take it easy. Bye.